Welcome to week 44 of the Happy Stitch Project. I'm going to use this pink thread. There's three strands, I've tied a knot in the end. And this week we are learning blanket stitch. So come up through your fabric and then make a sort of, imagine a square and go to the diagonal bottom corner like that. Go, take your needle through, but not right the way through and then come up at the top on a line with where you started. You need to move the working thread behind the needle and then pull. And then what happens is that that working thread catches the little sort of loopy bit. Is it? Yeah, kind of a loop, isn't it? It catches it on the back. So I'm just going to move that around there. Be careful of any stitching that you're doing near to this and um, that you don't catch other stitches. OK, so come up through like that each time. You can move your working thread behind. Once you've got the hang of this, you might be able to do it kind of with it behind automatically but that's okay I <laughs> I still find it easier to do it this way even though I've been doing it for a while um and I was just thinking that when I first started this project I was rubbish at kind of putting my needle a bit way through the fabric and coming back out and then doing a stitch with it so if this is new to you whoops don't do that <laughs> right I'm just going to untangle myself I've gone round the wrong way there we go round the back not round the front and then the back because that just gets you in knots that's better. Um, so yeah, so when I first started this, I found it really hard to like go partially in through the fabric and come out and then do a stitch. But I promise you that if you stick with it and just keep practicing, you'll get there. And it's really, really handy for this stitch because it's nice to be able to see where those stitches are going. Right, I'm just going to do a little anchor stitch on the top corner of this last one just to secure it in position because we don't want that to move. And then we'll just tie off at the back. So try and get your knot as close as you can to the fabric. I like to just put my finger on there and pull it round. And that's blanket stitch. It's lovely for edges, lots of decorative things. Just a really nice stitch to be able to do just in case you need it. And there we go. So have fun with that one this week. Mm -hmm.